Okay, so anytime I want to evaluate a function at a point, um, I think most of you are okay with that. You can say, okay, plug in zero or whatever. Uh, do that one, that's an easy one. F of zero means every time I see an X in my function, five times zero squared plus seven times zero minus one. That's zero, that's zero, that's equal to negative one, right? So what was the process? Every time we saw a, we put whatever is here in my function notation in these parentheses by the F, we plug into the X in my function, okay? So let's take a look at this, these non-numeric ones or these algebraic ones. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Every time I have an X in my function, I'm gonna plug in x plus one, because that's what it's telling me to do. So plus seven x, which is now seven x plus one minus one. Okay, so that's it. That is f of x plus one. That's my function f evaluated at x plus one. But now it's a matter of simplifying and your, the computer program will always wants you to simplify. So I gotta FOIL this out. So maybe, a, that's not x squared plus one. That's a common mistake, so be careful. You don't just square the x and the one. You actually, x plus one squared means x plus one times x plus one. So you gotta FOIL x squared plus x plus x. The L in FOIL is plus one. So some of you may be able to do this a little bit quicker. Um, but maybe if you wanna be safe, come over here and do some work on the side. So that's x squared plus two x plus one, and now I gotta say plus, I gotta distribute, I just gotta follow all my rules of algebra. All right, and then I'm gonna have to distribute the five in order to combine like terms. And then usually we write these in descending order, so my highest exponent goes first, and I got a 10x, and a 7x, if I've done this correctly, that should be 17x. And then I say 5 plus 7 is 12 minus 1 is 11. Okay? So it's the same idea. We just, whatever they give us in these parentheses, we plug in. So the next one for negative x, I'd have to plug in here a negative x. This one should be a little bit easier. You just got to be careful. And here a negative x. And then I simplify. So negative x squared will be the same as x squared. So you should have a 5x squared, and then just minus 7x minus 1, and that should be it. Okay, so I hope that helps, but it keep sending questions if you haven't.